Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da haba tafillah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tafillah. A question was asked, can you give advice to a Muslim sister or women who are divorced and are struggling to hold on uh, to Islam today? I have been divorced for a year and a half now and I'm experiencing many struggles. Sometimes I'm so depressed that it is hard for me to pray. Sometimes I feel like giving up. Can you please do a video on how to hold on to your Islam after dealing with a divorce? <clears throat> First and foremost, we have talked about some of these issues in other uh, sittings and related to other questions, but more specifically, that divorce is a difficult uh, thing for most people to deal with. And I say most people because some people become chronic divorcees or people who divorce, meaning that they have divorced many, many, many times. And with this, of course, the hearts become hard or can, or they become hard with regards to the concept of marriage and divorce. It becomes very easy for them <clears throat> or they just really don't care. It's just another relationship and they go on and move on to the next. And this can affect, of course, new relationships. So that's one of the things you want to be very cautious. So in general, as far as advice, I would say, first and foremost, is re <clears throat> realize that your separation is a part of the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how much we want to hold on to old ties, we want to uh, uh, maybe get, get our spouse back or get a piece of our life back, which we'll never get back. Or I should not say that we'll never get back, but there's chances <clears throat> that you will change and that you maybe will in evolve uh, as an individual and hopefully developed and become a stronger individual. So this is the maqsad. This is the intent of what you want to do is you want to progress from the situation in which you were in previously into the, the next situation. So you want to, obviously it takes time to heal. Some people heal within a couple of months. Some people, it takes years for them to get over a divorce, and that can be men and women. So this is in general advice for men and women in that sense, <clears throat> because these are matters, these are uh, amur, amur qalbiya. These are affairs of the heart. And when you're dealing with affairs of the heart, ahabitifillah, because here I'm talking to you as Muslims, that we have to also look at what? What, what relates to the heart? Ibadat al qalbiya that we also need to look at the worship that deals with the heart. This is going to help you because really, although it's a almost a cliche, but there's no doubt the healthy Iman, the one who has strong Iman, they're able to really deal with anything that comes. As a Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the, the weak believer and the strong believer, and in both of them there's good. There's always good for the believer. But this requires, in order to istakhraj the good, in order to bring about the good, you are going to have to begin to take hold of your life. So that means positive attitude, striving to overcome the sadness, doing positive things in your life Rel related to Iman, your faith, of course, reading more Quran, listening to Duru's, sitting with good people uh, in Halakat al-Ilm, you know, places of knowledge and places of Iman. And, and now, since we can't sit, you can watch, you can listen to many lectures and listen to the Quran and read in the Quran. So you're going to have to read a lot. You're going to have to listen a lot. You're going to have to do those things to help heal your heart. You will also have to have husn al This is very important to have good companionship. A good, so for sisters, they need good sisters to be around. And I know that this can be difficult because sometimes you find Muslims, but to find good ones that are either on talibat al-ilm or that they're not backbiting and they're not involved in materialism and foolishness, then this can be difficult. That can be challenging too. But you're going to have to do your best to seek them out. So husn al is very important. Uh, also, the uh, as we as we said, the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, "Inna fi jizid mudra 
إذا صلاح صلاح جزء كله إذا فسدت فسد جزء كله ألا وهي قلب. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "Verily, in the heart is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart." So again, you already know that when you are in sadness, when you are dealing with depression, when you are dealing with heartbreak and heartache, that deals with the heart, and it affects the body because it affect and it affects your mind. You don't want to read. You don't want to study. As you mentioned, it's even difficult to pray sometimes. It's difficult to, and you know, this is the cycle of sin, and the cycle of sickness, and that's why attending to the heart is the most important thing for all of us. If we want to deal with sins that we're dealing with, we got to get back to the heart. We got to start trying to clean it, and starting to put it good and positive in it. Likewise, as I've mentioned countless times. That also is finding things because、uh, we just mentioned many Sharia-based things, and also this is within the Shar is taking care of your body, exercising. Exercising is so important, and I say exercising specifically because exercise by taking care of your body, it just has such an overall impact on you as an individual. Self-esteem, sometimes for people it's courage.、Uh, you know, it's just. You know the body is is one. Your body, you are one. So if you have a sick heart, you're probably going to do sick things. You know you're going to. It's going to manifest itself. You know to a greater or lesser extent. And if you don't heal that, <clears throat> it can manifest itself in the worst of ways by either disbelieving, leaving Islam, doing the muharramat, whatever the case may be. So it's very important to take. Physical, mental, and spiritual steps to cure yourself. Because I hear a lot of people talking about the spiritual, which is that that's the asl. But really, for a lot of us, the reality is we are barred. We're almost we the, the barriers are so big. Like when you're on a path of sin, it's very hard. If someone comes to you and you're at the club, and you got a drink in your hand, and they say, "Well, you need to start reading Quran, Aki," it's very hard for them. You know, to even relate to that anymore, they've gotten so sick. And even if they try, that's not going to just knock that drink out of their hand. It's going to take more than that. They're going to need to really want that change, strive for that change, strive to heal, striving to heal. And that's going to become come by doing your best to remove sins from your life, doing the best you can, as I said, to have good companionship and also taking care of yourself physically, exercise. Uh, if it's walking, if you are a place, if you have places where you can run, where you can jog, if you have places, if you're into weightlifting, you know these kind of things because there is a, a a relationship with people also who don't have an outlet like this, especially a physical exercise outlet, a, a regime, a routine. You know, the sickness and the obesity and all these things—they just they help each other. It becomes a web, a web of entanglement with depression. It just and it feeds itself. Depressed people, what do they often have problems with? They're eating. They're overeating as well. Or some people, it's the opposite. They become anorexic. <clears throat> But regardless, as sisters that are in those with those difficulties, you don't want to resort to those things. You want to start finding. Some peace in your life. Another thing that I want to mention, especially for sisters, and to a degree, greater or lesser extent, for brothers. But I think as men, we might have sometimes more options, and a lot Subhanahu wa Taala knows best. But especially for sisters, is that、uh, you know having、uh, some important outlets. So we we mentioned the exercise. This is very important. So I'm saying exercise and another activity and outlet. <clears throat> For example, if it's sewing, if it's whatever, you need to build yourself. These outlets are a part of a greater issue, which is building yourself. Building yourself is important because I know, and I've known many sisters like this, and known many. And brothers, to a greater or lesser extent, but anyhow, the sisters they only find their value from a man. They want to they want to be married and taken care of. This is great, have a nema. But a lot of some individuals who do this, they don't really have a sense of their self. They don't even know how to be 
an independent woman their self. They can't do anything without a man. This is not a good position to be in. It's not a good position to be in, to be helpless. Look at the look at the example of the Salaf. Do we see the women? They couldn't do anything? No. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she used to teach. She had ilm. People came to her for fatawa. They came, you know, she had she had a value and a sense of self. She was the min umahat mu'minin. She's one of the mothers of the believers. So she had value, a sense of self, and she, uh, you know, and she was active. You know, she she was doing something, something productive. And this is where, where we find we have those, some of our sisters, and I think especially probably in the newer, younger generations, not just because of youth, because I think there's a there's different obstacles and there's different levels of damage in what's in our youth of today. So then they really are in need of finding out who they are as individuals. So you need to learn about yourself sometimes. Sometimes you need to build yourself. Take courses. There are free courses. And I'm talking about not just Islamic courses. I'm talking about even secular courses. Maybe you want to learn coding. Maybe you want to be a computer programmer. Maybe you want, there's so many things you can do online in your home now and be active. You know, being st studying and studious really helps you find yourself as well. You know, also develop yourself. You're developing yourself. You're bettering yourself. You're becoming Defining your own character, not being defined by just the relationship of the person you're in in that with. Then if they go, you're you're gone. You're destroyed. Oh, you just need to marry again. You just need to do this again. And, and then even that's not that easy, as is probably the case. So that's another point that I want to mention is, is finding ourselves. You know, and all this is a package. You need to develop yourself spiritually. You need to develop yourself physically mentally, you know, finding out who you are as an individual and so forth. <clears throat> uh, another important point is that people who divorce or are, have been divorced, our sisters specifically, and even brothers need to look at why they were divorced. Why, what was the breakdown in their relationship? Not in a point for feeling guilty, but just look and analyze what brought you to this to, to your, your current state. That's very important. All of those things, so that way you can build yourself for your next relationship, for your next level. A, a last point I want to mention is obviously that, uh, but I say we, uh, that uh, is looking to, to marry again, is to heal what, what can help. Time helps to heal. Time helps to heal. And that's so important in in everything in this dunya. Well, akhira. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by what? The time which he created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, By the time. That shows us time is so important. It is so important for us. How we use our time. And, and the function of time. And one of those functions is helping you to heal from sicknesses, from sins, from physical, mental, and spiritual decline. Time can help you. And that is one of the most powerful things that I think, as well as being active you know, to build yourself, is time. Is time. Time helps to heal those hearts. And I'll give you another example. I know a woman, an elderly woman, who lost her, her brother, her older brother, through violence. Over 40 years ago, probably now. And to this day, she doesn't really have peace with herself with regards to that issue. Now, it's difficult to close that. But what I'm saying is you don't want to carry pain with you. You have to actively strive to move on and develop yourself and better yourself and heal yourself. You, healing, you you need to actively heal. Time helps tremendously. But if you're not trying to heal your sickness, maybe you just go through more time and you're still just as sick or, or, or close to that same level of hurt and pain and sickness. So time helps. So 
with that being the case, is also looking to marry. Looking to marry, but I don't necessarily support the concept of staying in the same mental, physical, and spiritual state and then just marrying. For example, some sisters, like I said, they marry, you know, it's just relationship, you know, she's divorced. It's only been, you know, as soon as her id is over, she's into another relationship. And then that one, who knows how long that lasts? Boom, another one, another one. We have a lot of situations like this. I'm not saying not to, I'm not at all limiting the marriage thing, but I want for you to understand as far as my me conveying advice that you want to go into your next relationship with more strength, not just as looking for it as the total end all be all save your save yourself. It was just marriage. Marriage is going to save you. No, because maybe you have an emptiness. Maybe you are you have your own uh, shortcomings you need to work on. Maybe there's this. Maybe you have mental illness. Maybe you have maybe, 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 maybe on down the line. So there's many factors that go into that as far as healing. So it's very important to strive to heal yourself as well as to look for marriage. But look for marriage and be in a position of strength. Bring to the marriage, not just total dependence on another situation. Boom, that ends. And, you know, and, and, you know, and especially when there's children involved. So it's very important to strive to heal yourself. This is one of the most important things I can think of. And that's the physical, mental, and spiritual healing. And this will help. Uh, and last, far'an from that, something that else is a subsidiary issue related to that, is also because a lot of sisters, they find it difficult if they're, if they are with children or they're with even without children, to be in a polygamous situation. And the reason I mention that, because some sisters, they refuse that by any means. Well, I guess if you can live your whole life and being uh, single or, you know, and that's not a big deal, you would prefer that over being in a polygamous situation, then that's up to the individual. But I, I, I just want to mention that because you also have some sisters that have all of this these this pain and these things and and but for them the the prohibitor you know finding a good brother they find brothers that are married and then they you know they don't want to be in that kind of situation at all you know and and that's up to the individual that also a woman has to look at herself what she's able to do and what she cannot do but i'm i'm saying that as the women they need to open up that door, that polygamy, the institution of polygamy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated it for a reason, okay? And it's legislated that the men should be just. And so it's very important for sisters to consider all of their options and to be very, as I mentioned prior to this, to heal, strive to heal. Physically, mentally, spiritually, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct was from Allah Azza wa Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.